In this video, we're going to show you how we undid a hacker's work in one of our customers' Comcast email accounts. Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4kcc.com. If you're returning to our videos, thanks for coming back. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and then the notification bell. So let's take a look and see what happened. The first thing that happened was that everyone in our customer's address book received an email like the one you see on the screen. As soon as we saw it, we knew that our customer had been hacked as it is not the kind of email they would send. We called them on the phone and asked them to log into us. When they did, we had them open their email and we took over from there. Once we were in the email, we went to the settings icon in the upper right hand corner. And from the menu that dropped down, we chose email settings. In the left hand column of the new window, we looked at mail. We scrolled up and down to make sure that everything was okay. We did not see anything wrong. So next we went to compose. We scrolled to the bottom to make sure the default sender address was correct, which it was. Next, we looked at auto reply and made sure that the hacker didn't put anything in there, which they had not. We then moved to auto forward. When we opened that, we saw that the hacker had turned that on and had put a fake email address in. It started with the same user ID as our customer, but instead of being at Comcast, it was at Outlook.com. We removed the check mark from Enable and we deleted the fake account. Next, we looked at signatures. Our customer had a signature in, which we've blocked out so you can't see it, but the hacker had not put any in. Moving on down to filter rules, we saw a rule. It started out with periods. That is often a clue that a hacker has put that in. We clicked on edit and we see that what they did was they said that any email that came to our customer's normal email address would automatically be redirected to the fake email address. This means that our customer would never even know the emails were coming in. Obviously, we deleted that rule. Then we continued on the left hand side. We looked at advanced settings. We scrolled up and down and make sure that nothing was wrong there. We looked at the address book, etc. And once we were convinced that we had everything taken care of, we got out of the email and we had our customer log into their account with Comcast and change their password to a very secure password. That's it for this video. As you saw, this was Comcast email. Other email providers also get their emails hacked. And in future videos, we'll show you those and we'll show you how we correct them. So since you don't want to miss that, if you're not subscribed already, this is just a reminder to hit that subscribe button. Thanks and have a great day.